Hey folks, this is uh, BidTrice.com, TriceAuctions.com. We are located in Denton, Maryland. We are selling a wonderful 1961 DeSoto. This is out of a local estate. Um, the current owner of the estate did not have the car for very long. It sat in the garage prior. Um, I'm gonna do a walk around here. The car does not run. I can tell you though, when we pulled it from the property, it had a battery charger on the battery. The interior lights still work. So I think the gentleman was just doing a kind of a overhaul. Um, you'll notice like the radiator hose is missing. Air cleaner's taken off. Obviously it looks like it's got a pretty new distributor. Um, I'll show you a parts one that I have in the, found in the back as well. Um, we have the original wheels and hubcaps, we believe. We found four steel wheels with white walls on it at the property. We're gonna bring them up. We're gonna see if they match up, learn something. The left-hand side of this car is reverse thread on lug nuts. And we didn't even strip one. We were we figured out on our own. Looks like somebody else already did though. Show you the interior of the car. Interior is in really good shape. The paint as well. Um, it is a white paint. I could be wrong. I believe it's original paint. It's very well. You can see if you really touch it, it's a little chalky. Um, just the way the wear marks are. I just I just feel like it's original paint. Um, doors work fine locks work um all right so back to the interior as you can see walking through here check it out it's at speedo there is some wear rips and tears on the front seats the rear seats are in really good shape it i mean it feels stable um overall in here is really good shape headliner's good as you can see interior light works um, i thought that was a cool thing I don't know why I just did. Again, just some rips and tears. Front seats could be done. I mean, but it could be a road car. Ashtray here. Drop that down. There is an owner manual in there from 1961. Back this out a little bit. Service manual. Looks like a clock here. I'm not a pro, but it looks like a clock. Obviously, an aftermarket tack. Push button. Speedometer mirror. Ashtray. Ashtray does close, no problem. Radio. Show you under here. Here's the build plate. And as well, there's pictures of those online. I'll climb under the car here in a minute. So I think it's just a lot of surface rust. Um, I really haven't been able to stick my finger on it. I'm not jabbing super hard, but I haven't really had to found a spot where it's soft enough that you crumble when you push. Here's this. The panel looks like the original jack. Under here, this serves a little bit of rust. This is the mat that's breaking up, not the trunk pan or floor pan or whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, obviously there's some rust there, but again, mostly looks like it's just surface rust. Um, again, we'll finish walking around. And then we'll climb under the car real quick in the rear and show you underneath. The gas tank is removed. I'm assuming the gentleman removed it maybe to clean it. There was an electric fuel pump there um, near the gas tank. We did not include it. Does not appear that the gas tank has been modified, um, but I'll show you that as well. So here's some more parts you can see. Hoses. Again, I think he was just putting hoses on it. Um, I'm not sure what to, oh, this is another muffler. It looks like he started bringing one exhaust back. Probably needs to finish up the other air cleaner. Um, I believe this was the tack box that you see. Um, there's just some random parts here. There's a trophy here too. Won first place in 1985 at a, I'm assuming Laurel, Maryland's um, auto show. Hubcaps, there is eight of them. I'm guessing, I don't want to say, maybe original and aftermarket ones here. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert, so I can't confirm that. Air cleaner, it looks like he did have some decon in there to keep the mice away. And here's the distributor that I was talking about in the back. Um, as you can see, looks like the original or the older, older one that's been replaced. All right, so let me climb my somewhat larger body self underneath here. 
All right, so here's underneath the car. Um, as you can see, frame rails look really solid. Um, I can tell you they are. We did use a jack on them to lift the car up to get it off a um, ground lift. So I can tell you about that. Again, trunk's pretty solid. Um, looks like he put new brake lines on it, potentially. Um, this is the newer exhaust that does appear. Um, didn't finish the other side. As you can see, the tank is not here. Tank is out there. Um, climb under here a little bit more. Again, just finish up my video here. As you can see, appears to be in pretty good shape. I, uh, if I was a betting man, and I'm not really, but if I was, I think somebody with a little bit of knowledge, a solid weekend, three-day weekend, maybe two, could have his car back on the road and ready to go. Again, let me finish walking around here. Um, again, small little tear here. Nothing too serious. I mean, I'm telling you, this is a cool, cool car. You don't see many of them, obviously. This is a two-door coupe, hard top, however you guys want to call it. Based on what I found, roughly only 900 of these made. This was the last year in 1961. So again, 1961 DeSoto from a local state here in Fellsburg, Maryland. And will be sold July 4th via online auction. We will have a preview this weekend, which is, I don't even know what today is. Uh, June 24th, so the 26th and 27th, you can come out and look at this car, or July 4th, you can come out and look at this car as well. Uh, we're located in Denton, Maryland. I don't, there's hotels, if you, you're coming far away, you need a place to stay. Um, so if you come out the 4th, end up winning it the 4th, the night of the 4th, pick it up the 5th, and it can be yours. Again, I don't think you'll find many in this shape anymore. Obviously, there was only 900 of them made. Super cool car. All right, folks. Again, triceauctions.com, bidtrice.com. Oh, let me show you the gas tank real quick before I signed off. I'm a terrible YouTuber. Again, doesn't appear to be modified. And if you have any questions, concerns about the car, give me a call. I'll video chat with you. I'll do whatever I can to help you. Um, definitely if you're not local to the area. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Hey, I'm back again. I just want to take a quick video again of the engine bay. Can't remember if I got a good one or not. I talked for five minutes about the car. Can't remember if I got the engine bay. Car does roll. We winched up on a trailer uh, and then of course rolled it back off brakes don't seem to work the best so like i said i think he was working on the brakes and there you are have a good one folks